Okay, this little beauty is the City Backpack from Love 41. The other day I did a side-by-side -side comparison with the City Backpack and the Wanderer's Backpack, which is kind of um, the larger, more, um, how would you describe it, more sort of country counterpart to the City Backpack. And when I did that, I packed this with the traditional things, so a big wallet, a coat, and a phone, and keys, etc. And I wanted to show you, besides the traditional stuff, what else you could do with this little bag. And so, I have it stuffed as an uber chic diaper bag. And the problem with traditional diaper bags, right, you sling it over your shoulder and then you're sort of stuck with keeping it on there and wrangling a baby, it's difficult. So I thought, oh my gosh, this would make such a great diaper bag. Let me show you what I can fit in this little tiny bag. Let me show you what it looks like on first so you can get an appreciation of it. So here it is from the side. It's pretty full and it hangs quite comfortably. And here it is from the back. And let me show you what is in this, what could be a diaper bag, because you're gonna be surprised. So first things first, it has a main zipper compartment. It has two open compartments that have nipple rivet closures. I didn't shut them here, but they can shut. And then it has a secondary zipper compartment. So in the main, sorry, not in the main, in the front open pocket, I put a pair of sunglasses for easy access. In this deeper second pocket, I love the depth of this because I feel like it's a great spot for keys. The temptation is to put them here, but this is shallower, and I feel like um, it could fall out, etc. So I like that this is deep and that you can put, look at my clunky set of keys. I have mace and a giant car key and things I never use. Um, and then a flashlight. So that's just in the front. And then here, you can probably guess the easy access thing when you want to use something as a diaper bag. It is, ta-da, diapers. So I like that it fits just perfectly in the front zipper compartment, and I have um, two. I have a regular one and a pull-up, so it's a little bit bulky. Um, and then this is sort of, this is sort of the amazing part. This is gonna feel like the bottomless bag when you see me start to pull out what's in here. I have a, a full-size bottle. I have a full thing of Desitin. I have a baby blanket. And then I have um, travel to go wipes. I'm not done. I have this massive Tupperware, which I put in just to represent snacks or books or things that we might put in there to entertain the kiddo. And then, this is something that I didn't know about this bag the other day, so I wanna make sure that I share it with you. Hopefully you can see in there what is on either side, two sweet little hidden pockets. And so what I put in there was a simple wallet. This is from their sister company, Saddleback, and it's about business card size or credit card size, and it fits perfect in there. And you can actually, hopefully you can see this, this is the flap to that pocket. It's also a nipple closure. Um, and it would close easily with that in there. On the other side, over here, I put in a Samsung Galaxy S7. It fits no problem up and down, left to right. You cannot close it. It's a little bit too tall for that hidden compartment. Um, but to me, that's amazing. This is a very compact backpack, and I was able to fit all of that in here. And then the other thing that I wanted to show you, right, is you're going to the city. What do you do on the weekends? You go to the farmer's market, you sit somewhere, and you have a little picnic. So... I have, this is a full-size bottle of wine, I have a very large water bottle, and a giant thing of apples. So let me just show you how, this is kind of amazing that this all fits in here. I was really surprised. So, I put in the full-size water bottle and the wine bottle and the apples, and let me just show you that. Hopefully you can appreciate that. There's still a ton of room in this little beast. So let me close that up. That's the main zipper compartment. I have one of my larger tablets and I'm gonna slide that down in this second pocket. I'm gonna take my keys, drop it into the zipper this time. I'm gonna take my phone and I'm gonna put it in, I should have done that different order. I should put my phone in first. It's a little bit easier. And then I can put my keys in the zipper compartment this time since I'm using this one for a tablet. And the tablet, that's a big tablet. I'll put the measurements up for you. But 
it goes all the way to the top easily and there's like probably half an inch there so you can be sure that your tablet's not sticking out and let me just put this on so you can see I feel like this thing is kind of an unsung hero because it's just so roomy but it's it kind of has the appearance of being very compact but look at how much stuff I put in there I am amazed with this little guy. So let me take it out really quick. I want to show you, if you watch my videos, you know I always have a version 2.0. And it's not meant to be um, a critique to say don't buy this bag. It's just sort of wish list things that are the next iteration of this bag that I would love to see. So first things first, she has here a top handle. I love the idea of a top handle. It's very smart, right? So this is, you're in the car, you're driving. This is sitting behind the passenger seat in the back seat on the floor. You want to reach back and grab it. If you had to use these, it's hard to do. This handle sticks upright always. Very easy for you to reach back there, grab your backpack, buy it. Uh, so I love this idea. It's smart. One of the only things, and watch. So the bag's currently open. I'm holding it like this, and I want to zip it, right? It's awkward because I have to reach over the bag with this handle here and do this little dance. Um, it's easy to zip when it's full. It's empty. That's why I'm, you'll see I'm struggling a little bit. But so imagine that instead of having to reach over like this, um, that it had two zipper pulls. Then no matter what hand you're holding this top handle with, you can easily just reach down on the same side and zipper it up and then do do the other thing on the same side and it would just make it a little bit easier instead of having to fumble for um, the single zipper pull. So that's one. Two is again kind of along the same lines but I'm reaching over here um, and it's a little bit awkward right because the handle is back here behind my arm. Imagine if this handle was here on the front side of the zipper right then I could hold it here and my arm wouldn't get in my way when I go to pull this shut. So moving this from the back sort of to the top front. And then the bag is now empty, right? So if I wanted to close the nipple closure, and let's just look at the little one for a minute. Um, you have to push, push pretty hard because there's nothing sort of back here giving it the support where you can just, I'm using my hand now, where you can give it the support to really push this through. Um, so we don't always carry our backpack stuck to the gills. So one nice thing might have been um, a sort of magnet closure because that way if it's a magnet, whether or not the bag is full, I can just slip my fingers in here, press it apart, open it up that way, and I'm not struggling to open or close it regardless of how much stuff I have in the bag. Um, and then my last little thing is love that she put secret sort of side pockets down in here. But imagine for a second, when do you access those, right? Mostly you are here in the backpack, you're on the go, you want to get something from the interior, but you don't really want to take the bag off. So you sort of slide it here, um, you use her super handy top handle, and you open it up. And if this thing were full, it might present some problems in terms of accessing, again, these side pockets. So I wouldn't take them away necessarily. I think I'd only do one side pocket and the other pocket I would put here on the interior of the front of the backpack. So if you ever are walking and you slide your backpack off and you open it, it's right here at the top. Um, so regardless of if the bag is full, you can still access that interior pocket. So again, other than that, I really think you're gonna like this backpack. I think she doesn't have anything like it. Um, it's just, and I don't know that it comes through in the video, but the color is awesome. It's sort of this more orange than their traditional tobacco, and it just has a really chic finished look to it. It is the city backpack. It's perfect. Um, I think you're gonna like it. Give it a shot, the Love 41 City Backpack. Thanks for watching.